With the release of Outlook 2010, Microsoft implemented a new feature. And this new feature is called Suggested Contacts. What you'll find if you look in your navigation pane is you'll find a folder called Suggested Contacts. Suggested Contacts is every person you've ever replied or sent an email to and you haven't kept their contact details in the address book or the contacts folder. For example, when I click on my suggested contacts and I look in the bottom left of my screen, I can see I have a total of 2,892 items. This is 2,892 people that have ever replied or sent an email to and haven't kept a record of their details in my contacts folder or in my address book. Sometimes when you are creating a new email, you've noticed that it automatically anticipates who you're sending the email to. So if I click on an inbox in my navigation pane and I click on new email and I start to type somebody, it starts to anticipate who I'm addressing this to. If it's an old email, I can hit the X and delete this person so that this doesn't come up on the list anymore. But the thing is, this is called autocomplete, and this remembers a thousand and a maximum of a thousand people. So if I haven't sent an email to somebody for a very long time, perhaps a year, then they'll drop off this list, and I need to be able to find their email quickly. If I can't find an old email, so I'll just close this, if I can't find an old email that I sent them, I will sometimes go to my suggested contacts, because this holds more than a thousand. And what I can do is quickly find the person in my suggested contacts folder if I haven't emailed them for a long time and their email isn't automatically completing. This can grow quite large and so at any point in time if you wish to delete a contact simply delete a, click on a contact and hit the delete button. So if I click on this contact and press the delete key on my keyboard I'll delete this contact or I can use the delete button up in the ribbon. Also notice it says Control D is delete as well. So you can delete a contact or two, or you could press Control A to select all contacts, as you can see here, and delete all of them. But I wouldn't delete my suggested contacts. This has proven to be very helpful when I suddenly need to find an email address and the person I haven't emailed them for a very long time.